Justice for Jackson. That's the rallying cry for a family grieving the loss of their son for more than two years now. They allege his death was not properly investigated because he was Asian and gay. Thousands of people, including a state senator, are calling on investigators to do more. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim has a story you'll see only on 7. Jackson was very much that, the vibrant, um, humorous, jokester, mm -hmm. a little mischievous, but always with a big heart and empathy. That, that was him. It's that love of life that, according to Jim Salas and Angie Aquino Salas, makes it so hard to comprehend that their son Jackson is no longer in this world. I was just so proud to see him and the man he was growing into being. Jackson was found dead in a San Francisco apartment on March 2nd, 2020. Reports show he had met a man on a dating app and that there were drugs in his system. SFPD released a statement to me saying there were no signs of foul play. But the Salas family alleges they were kept in the dark over details of what really happened. We spent the first year trying to get reports. We finally got the final report of what happened to our son in November of 2020. They also believe their son's case was dismissed as an accidental overdose because of his sexual orientation. Jackson is Asian. He um, is gay. And so when I heard the medical examiner tell me the gay community always uses um, GHB or uses GHB. Very dismissive. I've seen the medical examiners and police reports, and this is a complicated case. But this isn't a story about the drugs found in Jackson's system or the circumstances where he was found. It's about a family's fight for fairness and the community rallying behind them. The Families Change.org petition to reopen the investigation has more than 40,000 signatures, alleging the investigation was not thorough enough. Senator Scott Weiner also wrote this letter asking for SFPD and the ME's support. We need to make sure that the community has trust in our government, including in the police and the medical examiner. Parents shouldn't have to speculate about what happened when their child has died. No matter the outcome, the Salas family hopes one thing, that his legacy will set an example for others. Regardless of sexual orientation, he should have an equal investigation as anyone else. And inspire other families of children in the LGBTQ community to have a voice. We were so proud of them. In Alameda, Dion Lim, ABC7 News.